Welcome to this week's edition of the Premier Rugby Wrap. With just one round left before finals, the top four teams sit in an interesting position with the minor premiership still up for grabs. Before we preview what is set to be an exciting final week of competition, let's look back on all the action from round 17. Last weekend saw East Topple Brothers at David Wilson Field 44-12. University got the better of GPS 46-25 at Yoku Road. Gold Coast won their high scoring game against Norse 54-51 at Bond. West beat the Stingrays at Stockland Park 43-12. And Sunnybank won their heritage round clash against South 35-24. In the game between East and Brothers, Reds fullback Aidan Tua set the tone for East with a try early in the match. East would pick up a four try bonus point before half time thanks to a 60 metre effort from winger Jonah Placid. But Brothers didn't go into half time empty handed after Reds winger Dom Shipperley crossed over out wide. The frustration continued for the Brethren in the second half with the Tigers picking up a further two tries to seal the win 44-12. It was an emotional day for University and GPS at Yoku Road as they played for the Halley Appleby Memorial Trophy. The students rose to the occasion and produced one of their best performances of the season, led by fullback Jamie Tuolagi. Tuolagi showed some brilliant pace and footwork to keep Uni in front on the scoreboard, including a 90 metre intercept effort. University scored seven tries in total, and while GPS were competitive right until the end, the students proved too strong winning the game 46-25 to take home the Halley Appleby Memorial Trophy for 2013. The Gold Coast and North produced an entertaining high-scoring affair at Bond University last weekend for the Breakers' last home game of the season. Gold Coast began strong with both flanker Martin Collins and centre TJ Saikasini scoring in the first six minutes. However, North put together some structured play resulting in five tries in the first half. Dennis Gordon crossed for the Breakers, leaving the score at 26-25 at half-time. The Gold Coast jumped out to a 47-32 lead before they were reduced to 14 men. Norse then fought back, but the Breakers managed to hold on and close out the match 54-51. West headed to the Sunshine Coast, looking to keep their winning ways intact and started out the first half with some fast attacking rugby. The Bulldogs forward pack led from the front and controlled the ball at the breakdown, resulting in tries to lock Jeremiah Lynch and flank away to Sedu. In the backs, winger Peter Nelson and captain Brett Gillespie both scored tries, while Barr and Hutchinson also crossed over, coming off the bench in the second half. Fly half Sam Green picked up an individual tally of 18 points, scoring a try while slotting five from six conversions and a penalty. Sunshine Coast scored two tries of their own through loose forwards Brendan Mitchell and Jason Wellburn, but the team struggled to stifle the Bulldogs' attack. West closed out the match 43-12. The Dragons tied in their old boys celebrations with Queensland Rugby's heritage round, with a large crowd converging on the club in support of the Premier side as they took to the field on Saturday afternoon. Australian under-20s fly half Jake McIntyre set the time for the afternoon, scoring the opening try which he converted to put the Dragons in front 7-0. Reds College and South prop Sam Denny answer back to level the scores at 7-0. Sunnybank would score the next try, however it was South who edged in front at half-time, following a penalty and try to half-back Brett Hamlin. Sunnybank winger Junior Lalawifi took it upon himself to put the Dragons back in the lead and scored two tries early in the second half. Queensland Red centre Ben Tapawai would seal the deal for the Dragons with a try in the corner to extend their lead out to 35-17. Brett Hamlin scored his second try for South right on full-time, but it was too late for the Magpies with Sunnybank too far in front and the final score 35-24. This week's Masashi High performer was Sunnybank pivot Jake McIntyre, who was instrumental for the team in the Heritage Round win. Congratulations, Jake. Enjoy your Masashi prize pack. With the top four already decided, only five points separate first place GPS on 68 and fourth place University on 63 competition points. Third place East sit tied with the University and Brothers sit in second on 65. Sunnybank and South are now out of the finals race following the weekend's results and West, Gold Coast, North and the Sunshine Coast close out the bottom four. This coming weekend, GPS and Sunnybank will face off at Yoku Road. North will host the Sunshine Coast at Hugh Courtney Oval. South will take on the Gold Coast at Chipsywood Oval. East will travel to Sedgman Oval to take on West. And Brothers will host their Heritage Round celebrations as they take on University at Jack Ross Oval. With just one round left and the minor premiership up for grabs, this weekend of Premier Rugby is sure to produce some entertaining performances. So head down to your favourite Premier Rugby club this weekend and see the stars of tomorrow today.